Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at one of the coolest products I've seen in a while. It's the Sysmax IntelliCharge i4. If you're not familiar with Sysmax, they are the parent company of Jetbeam and Nikkor. So they have two really good brands underneath them. Really good name. Not a company you have to worry about the quality or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and pull all this out, show you what you get on the inside. Here is the instruction manual. Definitely read this. It tells you all the compatible batteries, gives you the operating instructions. Um, a lot of people ignore the, uh, the instruction manual, but for this kind of thing, definitely check it out. I'm going to go and pull the charger out here. And we've got the power cord. There's also an optional car charging power cord if you want to use that. And that is what this port right here is for. This is for the regular one. So we're going to go ahead and plug this end in and plug the other end in. Got a power strip down here. All right, and you'll see when it first turns on, this the blue LED right here is gonna be the power indicator, and you saw some of the LEDs flash. Just goes through kind of a self-test mode just to uh, make sure everything's operating properly. Okay, the ability to charge four batteries at once is really nice, but being able to charge four different kinds of batteries at once is even nicer. Really cool thing about this charger is it can charge nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, or NICAD batteries. And it can charge each one of those at the same time. So you can have four different batteries like we have here, charge them all at once because it has independent circuits for each of the spring-loaded bays. So it can uh, uh, charge each battery accordingly. So we have four different batteries, Sanyo and a loop. We're going to stick in the first bay and you'll see these LED indicators. It shows you the status. Uh, it'll give you a, kind of an idea of how much charge is on there. And it'll be blinking while it's charging and all three will be lit up when it's done charging. So Sanyo Antelope, AW14500, Trustfire 18650, Jetbeam 18650. Make sure you observe the correct polarity. Positive end goes that way towards the top of the charger. Um, the LEDs will blink really rapidly if you have reverse polarity and just immediately pull them out because there's always the danger of fire and stuff like that. Of course, you want to observe any proper safety precautions. Keep an eye on this thing. Uh, 18650s and even the 14500s, any of the lithium ion, they've got a lot of power in them. Uh, so you don't really want to leave any kind of charger at all unattended for long periods. Even though the batteries and the charger do have all kinds of safeguards, it's a good idea just to keep an eye on them. Definitely, if they start getting too hot, pull them all out. But there you go. That is the Sysmax IntelliCharge i4. Really cool charger. If you're in the market for a charger, definitely one to look at. Um, automatically detects the different kinds of batteries, 1.2 volt or 4.2 volt. Just slap them in and you're good to go and it'll charge them independently. If you have two batteries in there, it'll charge at 500 milliamps. If you have four batteries, or sorry, got it the wrong way around. <laughs> if you have four batteries in there, it'll charge at 500 milliamps. If you have two batteries in there, it'll charge at one amp, so you can charge your batteries really, really quickly. Again, IntelliCharge i4. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of flashlight videos. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com.